Hey, sneaker is back today. Yes, I'm back again. Back in Dallas. Oh, yes. Today we're back with Saline OS 1.6. It's the latest release from Saline. I've done it quite a while ago. Well, I've done it several times, haven't I? That's a very nice Debian based XFC distribution. Oh, yes, indeed. A bit fishy here, so that's why it's a bit saline salty, you know what I'm saying? Now, I've installed it to the system, but even when you install it, you still get the installer icon on the desktop, so I've actually just deleted that, so that's no big deal, is it, really? But as you can see, it's nicely laid out, you know, got all time. Up here, we've got clear out browser cache and flash cookies. Update the system, which you must do once you install it, or you can actually do it via when you install them, for all the extras anyway. But yeah, just do it anyway, okay? Then you've got the sand and your Ethernet, etc, etc, etc. Oh, don't forget over here, we've got our exit menu. And you're saying, where is everything? Well, apart from having all your applications up here, here and here, there you go, you've also got a nice little bar on the bottom. Or, as it's XFC4, it's a panel, right? It's not a bar, it's a panel. Let's just get that straight. So, on our panel, I'll show you, we have Chromium as our default browser. I stuff for your mail, don't mind it, it's okay. Isn't it? Get Pigeon as usual, the full LibreOffice suite, that's really nice. Osmo, I like Osimo, he's nice. G calculator or calculator for doing your calculations, a dictionary, parole as your media player. Now, I rather like parole, although when I tried to play some XVID stuff in it the other day from a disc, it didn't want to play ball, so that might be the disc, it's a weirdo one. Okay, rhythm box for your audio, my favorite anyway, do like it. Then we've got photox for your photos and your stuff, so you can touch them up and stuff. Bear in mind, you can get the old Gimpy as well to do more complicated stuff. XF burn for your DVD and CD burning. Catfish for searching your files. Gigalo, oh yeah, you to connect to remote file systems. Gigalo, I like you. You like me, Gigalo? I like you. You've got your settings manager for XFC4. Synaptic package manager for installing all your stuff, so it's nice. I'll look at it in a minute for you. And your terminal, okay? But first, I'm going to show you the user menu, which is on the desktop. So if we double click it, and up he comes. Now there's 19 pages in PDF and it tells you everything you need to know how to use it, install it, you know, blah de blah de blah de blah. You can read it yourself, you know, tells you how to do certain things, hand in Microsoft Windows EXE files, tells you what codes to put in, how to set up your wine installation, stuff like that. Installing software from Synaptic, yeah, I mean we all know how to do that, but some of you may not, okay? There's got glossary here as well. That's enough of that. You can read it yourself. You can read it all in the live CD because it is live as well, but this is an installed system, okay? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Quickly go through the applications with you. Only quickly because I've done it quite a few times. And on, on the surface, not much has changed, but under the hood, it's got better, okay? It's just got better. As you can see, you can take your screenshot here if you really want to. Should we take a screenshot? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Entire screen. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Takes three seconds before it takes the shot. So in theory, around about now, yes. Okay. So should we open that with Restrato? Yes. So okay that. Wait for it to do the stuff, and there we go. Rather super of the duper, isn't it? Really, when you think about it, does it really nice? I like it anyway. So yeah, that's that bit out of the way. Okay. What else can I show you? That's all right. Right. Gimpy is installed as standard. Okay. So you don't have to wiggle around for that. Bear in mind it is Debian, so some of the software won't be right up to date, but they try their bestest. But if you want stability, no big deal whatsoever, really, is it? When you think about it, no. It's the first time I started Gimpy, as you can see. Always takes longer the first time. There you go. Does what it says, doesn't it? Yeah. Super the do Okay. Under multimedia, you get cheese pre-installed as well. And as I said before, parole in the box. You also get the sound recorder. Don't forget that. I like using that sometimes. It's very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, XChat is there as well. Did I put that in? I think I might put that in. Here's our full LibreOffice suite. That's all there for us to use. So I've opened up ooh, uh, Calc. And you all know what it means, don't you? Wait for it to do what it's got to do. There you go. Nicey, nicey. Okay. What version of LibreOffice is it? It's 343 build. So that's, sorry, it's 343, that's 302 build. So that's rather nice indeed, too. Okay, quickly a bit more down the menu. Done office. Under system, you've got all your stuff here. You G Party is also here. Remember, if you're going to install it, do G Party first. Give it a bit of a chance. Remaster this back up and start up this tool. 
as your installer is still there, but you don't really because it's installed, Synaptic Terminal, Thunar, and your Task Manager. Okay, very nice indeedy. Showed you your bar, but I'm going to quickly open up Chromium, just to make sure it all works. Yes, lovely. Super, go straight to Google. We'll put in Saline. Where we S. There we are. Because speed and stability matter. Now, this is where you can get it from if you want to go and download it, okay? You can do it to USB drive as well, if you so wish to do so. Oh, yeah. It's a 64 bits and 32. Yes. So I run on both. That's really, really nice. If you're coming from Windows, it tells you here to use InfraCorder to burn the ISO, okay? Because it's just sometimes a bit dodgy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Saline OS is still stable. It's super, super duper. It's one of those ones where you can just put it in and it will do what it's got to do once you've updated the system, okay? Don't forget to update the system up here. Oh, yes, indeed. Which you must do. Saline OS, 1.6. 85%. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.